signal location uploaded to PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Captain. I might get claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it is. He'd tell me it was childish, but I stare out of the window and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. Certainly, it's not all friendly. Most of the plant life is toxic. Learned that the hard way. But I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but it's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father approves. He says understanding is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's not easy without proper equipment and network access, but the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Coevolution gives me the fuzzies. 
Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering, but I didn't have enough enameled glass. So, I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have, and those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only, well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. Said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest, armed with just a heat blade, and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. And on the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. What's the point in surviving here, if we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful? I wish I knew more about these animals. 30 seconds. But father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. Blueprint acquired. There is always a pecking order, and in our world, money makes a hierarchy. I pay Maida a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. If money makes the hierarchy, why is Marguerite making the decision? We need her. We let her think what she likes, so long as she does what she's told. What if she doesn't? For enough money, she will. People always do.